Arthur Holly Compton was in his mid-twenties when he had a brilliant idea. It was a way to reveal the nature of electromagnetic radiation. Arthur moved to Washington University in St. Louis, where he found a nurturing environment in which to turn his vision into a discovery that won him the Nobel Prize. When I was first looking for schools to apply to, uh, I went around to different mentors that I had come in contact with and asked which schools they would apply to. Washington University was brought up for being a place that is asking interesting questions and producing some really innovative research. My advisor offers a lot of opportunity for leadership. Um, we get to make a lot of decisions in our collaboration and we're highly involved with the decisions that we're making for our experiment and our mission. Well, the first thing that really hooked me to Washington University is that they have a weekly barbecue event. This barbecue event really reminds me of what's happening in Bell Lab under the AT&T management, where all the brilliant scientists, they get to have lunch together, and that's exactly where all the brilliant ideas are exchanged, and that's why Bell Lab were able to produce a lot of Nobel Prize winners during the 90s. WashU is a place that will really make you defend your science. This is exactly what I wanted in a PhD program, though a place that will provide these opportunities for personal growth, while also making sure that I leave with confidence in what I've learned and the physics that I've gained. For me, doing research is like playing with Lego. First you bought a set, and then you build the model that's on the picture, and of course you feel happy when you finish that. But after that, you start playing with it in other ways. You start to use your imagination and reassemble it into other shapes. And if you really like Lego, you will look or ask your friends what they are making. And then you take the other person's idea and then incorporate it into your own Lego set. This is exactly the same thing with research. And I think the whole process of doing it is part of the fun. Something this department does better than other departments is getting the environment to feel more collaborative than competitive. Here, there's an actual culture where they want you to succeed. They want the best out of their students and they're willing to support you to achieve that. Everybody in the department is really close. We all know each other by name and that really makes you feel like you're a part of the community. We have the resources of a larger department. Our small size allows us to be a tight-knit group where we have collaborations between groups but then we're also really social during colloquium events. I've been given a lot of opportunities that I would have never dreamt of. I've been to Antarctica to launch an X-ray telescope. I have been to Asiago, Italy to take a summer school on polarization. I've traveled to Rome to give talks to international collaborators. And I'll be going to Sweden next year to launch another X-ray telescope. So this department has a strong mentorship program. It's been going on for about 20 years or so, where it's peer-led by the graduate students for the grad students. We do a lot of work making sure graduate students can quickly feel at home in this department. Much like how the faculty want us to succeed, we as graduate students want to see each other succeed. As someone who just moved into St. Louis, something I care about was the food. So there was this very special food they call toasted ravioli. The first time I tasted it, it doesn't taste that good. Actually, after one or two months, and I started craving it, so I guess that's the charm of St. Louis. I think what made it worth it really was Antarctica. Antarctica was really that moment where it was obvious that I had done something awesome. Here at WashU Physics, we look forward to working with you so you can achieve your personal and professional goals as a member of our graduate program.